The previous videos demonstrated how to repackage third-party installations into Silent MSI packages. In this video, you can see how to create a new custom MSI package using the monitoring feature of MCO MSI Package Builder. You can use MCO MSI Package Builder not only for installation repackaging, but also for creating new custom installations quickly and easily. So let's see how it works. In this project, we need to create an MSI package to deploy the font files and the fonts viewer utility. Here we have the font files that should be installed into the system by the MSI package. The fonts viewer is a portable utility that works without installation, so the MSI package should place it into the required folder and create a shortcut for it on the Windows desktop. To start creating an MSI package, we need to create a new project in MCO MSI Package Builder. As you can see, the project consists of different types of resources. Using the visual editors, we need to configure all the changes to be applied by the installation. This is the traditional way of creating installations, but it's quite complicated even for our simple project. If, for example, we need to deploy Windows fonts, to what folder should we copy the fonts files? Should we apply any registry changes to install fonts, and what are these changes? You need to have in-depth knowledge of Windows to create an MSI manually using the editors. Contrary to this, MCO MSI Package Builder allows automating MSI creation using the monitoring technology. So let's delete the current project and try a more effective approach. To create an MSI automatically, we'll use monitoring, so we need to select the corresponding option here. In this project, we'll perform installation changes manually, so we should select the Advanced Monitoring option. As usual, we should run the program in a clean environment and follow the displayed recommendations. Here, we need to enter the project name. Finally, we need to enter the path to the MSI file to be generated and the MSI properties. Now, we can press the Finish button to start monitoring. The monitoring has been started, so all the file system and registry changes are being captured by the program. Now, we need to perform the changes to be included into the MSI package. First of all, let's install the fonts. Now, we need to copy the fonts viewer utility into the required folder. Finally, we need to create a shortcut on the desktop that refers to the deployed fonts viewer. As you see, we performed the required deployment steps using the user interface features of Windows, which resulted in the corresponding file system and registry changes being captured by MCO MSI Package Builder. The captured file system and registry changes will be included into the MSI package to be generated. As a result, the MSI package can reproduce the same deployment we've completed, but do it silently and automatically without using the Windows user interface features for deployment. We've completed all the required deployment steps so we can return to MCO MSI Package Builder and stop monitoring. As you can see, the program generates an MSI package automatically. That's it. Now you can use this MSI package to deploy it across your network so that all the computers get the new fonts and the fonts viewer utility. You can use the demonstrated approach to create installations of any complexity by performing any actions while monitoring is activated. As a result, you'll get an MSI, reproducing the captured changes. Let's review our MSI project to see the changes that have been captured. As you can see here, the MSI package deploys the font files into the Windows Fonts folder. It also deploys the Font Viewer utility into the required folder. In addition, it creates a shortcut on the desktop. As you can see here, the absolute paths to the file locations have automatically been converted into so-called system folders that point to the required directories regardless of the Windows configuration. That means that the MSI package can work correctly even if you deploy it on a PC where, for example, the Windows desktop location has been changed in the Windows settings. As you can see, the project also includes the registry changes. The corresponding entries have been created to register the deployed fonts in Windows. It's easy to miss such changes if you create an MSI manually using the editors because it's not always clear what changes should be applied in different cases. 
When you use monitoring, all required changes are captured automatically, so you don't need to bother about technical aspects of the deployment process. We can edit this project to add or delete some resources if required. For example, let's add a new file to the same folder where the Fonts Viewer has been deployed. Once we've completed the required modification, we can create a new MSI, including the applied changes. That's it. Now you know how to create any custom installation quickly and easily. In the next video, you'll learn how to use installations wrapping to create MSI packages. Stay tuned!